show you a healthy looking skin which was inspired by photoshoot Emma Watson which link on the photos so you can check out down below it was inspired by the healthy beautiful natural skin so you can still see a little bit imperfections showing through uh, but that's the beauty of this makeup everyday look and it takes five to ten minutes so first step make sure your hands are clean then moisturize your lips before applying any makeup. And I'm using Neutrogena Lip Balm, which is more, very moisturizing. Next, before applying foundation, use any primer which works for your skin. And my favorite is La Roche Posay. Then apply eye cream because it helps to blend concealer and corrector underneath your eyes and on your lips a little bit better. Then I'm using very light, light to medium foundation, which is Chanel Aqua. You can use any light foundation or tinted moisturizer or you can actually mix foundation and your favorite cream to create a tinted moisturizer. I like to blend everything first with my fingertips so I can blend everything very smooth and very flawless. And if I feel I need extra coverage, I'm going to add it more and on my lids too. Then to make sure that everything blends perfectly <laughs> I like to use kabuki brush and this one by Sigma I do have a little bit of blemishes and scars that's why I'm using corrector and this one by Makeup Forever just apply a little bit on the areas where you feel like you need extra coverage and blend it with beauty sponge or with any brush which works for you to add a beautiful glow like a model like on a photo shoot added a little bit of cream highlighter and blend it with kabuki brush or with a sponge. I'm using creamy highlighter only because it gives you a beautiful glow but without looking too shimmery. <music> to cover darkness underneath the eyes, you can use concealer if it works for you but have a more healthy looking skin without too much too kiki I like to use just brightening cream since I'm looking for more moisturizing look something more healthy I don't like to set anything with the powder and I'm going straight to bronzing my face and with a huge brush by Sigma I'm just applying it all over my face and a little bit concentrating on the cheeks to give a definition to give a beautiful spring glow, added any pink blush. And last step, apply nude lipstick. If you want to watch more videos like this, please click like. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Don't forget to have fun while you do your makeup.